really what we're lo doing here, we're looking at a triptych. A triptych is a painting in three parts. Originally, these three parts were clamped together and painted as one. Because of this size, it's easier for matters of practicality to do it in sections for transportation and for the homes. Also, it looks great when it's just partially divided. But this is another explosion of color, limiting myself to some earth tones. But by doing that, the intensities are even stronger because we depend on the push and pull. Hans Hoffman, who taught here in the Hamptons, talked about push and pull, push and pull. Colors going in, colors going out, colors coming and going, in and out, push, pull. And this is an example of that, all done in the earthy tones, keeping in mind that the whole composition is working together. It's like an orchestral composition. When I'm working at this, I'm dancing, I am alive. I've got so many brushes in my hand, I don't give a damn about anything else. Sometimes I paint so fast, the brushes fall off my hand, and I keep at it because the energy is coming through, the energy is popping, and there's splashes of color, and they're very reminiscent of Jackson Pollock. He dripped, I splash. It's a, it's a throw of the wrist in this one with metallic paint. And when the whole thing is done, when the whole thing comes together, it sings, it tells, I am done. And I listen to it and I obey. The painting is done. I stop, I separate them while the paint is still wet and let it dry. And there it is. And when I'm done, I'm just as amazed. I look back and I say, oh my God, look at that. How in the world did that happen? I don't, it's almost like I, it's almost like I, I went into some kind of a, a trance or something. Because to tell you the truth, I don't remember any of this. All I know is that by letting go, the creative energy does it. It's just being a, a vehicle for that. It's like being willing to do the stupidest, the wildest, the most daring. It doesn't matter. As long as it's free. The key is to be free. Not to be this or that, but to be free free to create free to allow the energy and there it happened because some things are just sloppy literally sloppy but the sweetness is there so i am not concerned with finishing details this is not a painting about a swan this is not a painting about a landscape it's not a painting about uh flowers it's a painting about energy pure raw energy jonas gerard jonas what a career you were a man uh, that uh, has uh, reached the heights and continue to expand in the world of art. You've got something special for it. Your work is described as an explosion of color, contrast, and movement. And, uh, That's part of it, yeah. It's a big part of it. I've been doing it since I was a kid. I've been at it ever since I was 16 years old. I don't know what else to do with my life. It happens all by itself. And then you have success and you can't get out of it once you become successful. Part of successful. the success is because I let go of success. When you let go of success, when you let go of desire to be successful, success comes. That's the secret that a lot of artists don't realize. You have to let go, and that's what these paintings are about. It's about letting go of the intended result. It's about letting go of getting the approval of others. When you forget about all that, then the creative spirit comes through Sales happen, success comes by itself. There's no need to reach it out. It comes to you. Words of wisdom, and you're a testament to, uh, to those words. 67 years old. God bless America, and God <laughs> bless the energy that comes through me. I did very little to create this. I just let go. Your pieces, if we can uh, focus in on sure. some of this great work that you've created. Uh, I know you've been influenced by some Hamptonites, uh, de Kunic Absolutely. And this is a great episode for me. One of the reasons I'm here is because the greatest, some of the greatest artists that created this abstract expressionism came from this area. William de Kooning, Hans Hoffman, Jackson Pollock, they all were here. They all, you know, gave birth to this incredible art movement. But that kind of like disappeared over the years. The lot of other movements came up, but recently it's rebirthed again. And here I am. I love Franz Klein, the black and white Franz Klein. This is an homage of Franz Klein. Franz Klein did these very large. And to paint in that rhythm, to get back to the intensity of this guy's work, to really enjoy 
the beauty of the expressive movement that they came through with and to get back to that episode. But for me, it's very easy because I already got it inside. So they were inspiration. They did not make it happen. They were inspiration for me to reach within and reach that same place where they were at from inside of me. Well, what fuels your creative process? A 40-year vegetarian diet, very important part. People don't realize. It keeps your system clean and you go for the pure colors. Another thing is 40 years of meditation. Meditation is a big part of my life. Meditation has a lot to do with quieting the mind so the spirit can come through. You see? So art is not just by itself. You have to encourage it. You have to encourage it with a lot of things. And also, good music. I like Afro-Cuban. Hot music. Good cup of strong coffee. Three o'clock in the morning. And I'm on. <laughs> You're an original. I, I was I tell told you, that <laughs> You're in the mold of, uh, of the Pollocks and the De Kunigs and, they knew and the how other to do artists. Who... They had the essence of it. They had the joy of it. They had the purity of it. And to tap into their lives is a blessing. It's an incredible blessing. It's so encouraging. Whenever I'm a little tired or a little sluggish, I open up one of their books. And boom, there it is. It's like, it's like a, a shot in the blood. Speaking of boom, look to... To our an explosion of, of color. An explosion of, of color. Of, it has to do with being fearless. It has to do with being willing to go to the very edge of the cliff and jump without a parachute, without wings. You just jump and you know that you're going to be okay. And the minute you jump, the very second you jump, you sprout wings. So it has to do with a state of fearlessness. I teach that in my when I do workshops. People have a hard time letting go because we all want to be approved we all want to look good and that's what holds us back it's the opposite success comes when you let go of the wanting for success jonas, it's an amazing thing jonas thank you for being part of the smart talk <laughs> fine arts enjoy festival. the festival you are an original and your works i i see they're selling as we uh, as we speak but that's not your intention your intention is to, to share with the world your expression. The pity sells themselves. They, uh, they enjoy my description. They enjoy what I have to say about the art. And they, I allow them to touch the art. It's fun to touch. See that sign? That's very important part of the art. It's okay to touch it, to feel it, to absorb it, to smell it. It's, you want to get it into your system. Why not?